He is one of Australia's most decorated sportsmen and also one of its most misunderstood. And now NRL and boxing legend Anthony Mundine has opted for the quiet life but still keeps a watchful eye on the sport he once dominated. Three years on from his retirement, I sat down with the man behind the man. Standing in his gym at Redfern in central Sydney, Anthony Mundine is right at home in a ring his family built. How's life? Where are you at at the moment? Now yeah, I'm just living life, trying to stay active. Got a couple of businesses I'm having, well, MGM construction business with my brother, Gosh, and I've got my barn, my disability services. He's fit, still spars with the young fighters, but the legend insists there is no itch to get back into competition. The real man from my I'm a cool cat. I'm the coolest cat ever, bro. Like, I'm just laid back, happy go lucky. Although the mention of one name seems to reignite that competitive fire. How are you and Danny Green these days? Yeah, actually, we're good. He texts me quite often, I text him, so we have a good relationship. But I don't want a good relationship because I want, I want that third fight. <laughs> <laughs> the man affectionately known as Chock reflects on a career spanning nearly 30 years. 59 professional fights, 48 wins, 28 by knockout. Hey, uh, your greatest achievement? Probably my first world title. Mundine's maiden world title coming against Antoine Eccles in 2003. Mundine shot to stardom in the NRL, a sublime player with firebrand skill and athleticism at the Dragons and Broncos. Yet Mundine remains jaded at rugby league's treatment of him. The reason why I went out of rugby league is because they were never giving me my just dues, they were never giving me my number six Australian jersey. Today it's to have other brothers support in each other. I by myself one out. Spencer Lenu's racial slur against Ezra Mam in Las Vegas reminding us of the game's ugly side that Mundine believes still exists. Do you think that punishment was enough? Eight weeks for Spencer Lenu? Uh, yeah, I believe so. It's always going to be in society. It's always going to be in sport. You know what I mean? Racism. You know, you're constantly putting out fires. You just got to continue to fight. You need to educate the current crop and the next generation. Education is key. That incident and the fallout triggered a war of words with South Sydney superstar Latrell Mitchell. Now, Mundine wants to bury the hatchet. I felt a bit disrespected when he came at me on my social media. Thinking back now, I probably should have just called him up and said, bruh, well, you know, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, called him. And vice versa, he should have done it to me. You know what I mean? Feels a bit silly how it played out. I love the kid. I don't want to break anybody's confidence or whatever. I want the best for him. He can be one of the best players in the world. And at 48 years old, Mundine is staying fighting fit himself. Still hitting the gym and adding a new machine to his workout. Speedience, keeping the man sharp. We reached out to Anthony because he's got a really respectable career and it's something that really suits his time. Being post-retirement, he can work out at the convenience, uh, you know, whenever he wants at home. With life slowing down for the legend, Mundine insists there is only one man. Always will be. There's one thing that's for sure. Mundine, never before, never again, brother. That's why I play for the Dragon. Because it never happened before me and never happened after me. <laughs> the man. He is the man. <laughs> Chuck Mundine is in good form. And to get your hands on a speedy and to visit the website below. It's funny, the bloke behind the man, he's so... He's, Quite a nice fella. Yeah, he he's really a character, is. isn't he? He's a character, you know, he's very chill. Mm. He's got five kids, he's 48 years old, he's but yeah, he still gets in the ring. <laughs> yeah. So it was really good to catch up with yeah. him and to see where he's at at nice the moment. Nice chat, he's Alex. Doing well, thank you, yeah. Sarah. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?